Wow. Wow. Wow, this is this is some really deep stuff. I don't know what just happened, but something happened inside of me. Something snapped, something shook. I wasn't expecting that either. Ah, uh, <laughs> sorry. It's okay, it's all right. It's beautiful. <laughs> Monster is like really small, but it had to become that to stop me. And then the hurt child became present when you mentioned it. And I didn't realize this until now. There were things that I didn't remember yeah. until now. It's funny, I haven't seen that before. It, it feels like I'm the monster. I'm kind of seeing images of things. Of a, of a world where they can exist. This clarity brings all kinds of answers. It's clear. She like hugged me and then went back to her place, I guess, in my heart. Oh, it wants to come out. <laughs> it wants the bippity boppity boop Cinderella me. Like, <laughs> she's like melted into like my chest. It's like ooey gooey. Y'all week been finishing things, cleaning up more, started eating vegetables again last week. <laughs> and it kind of just started happening. It's almost like I just finished going through a meditation session. I feel like, like, you know, when you. When you hit that first joint, like in the morning, and you... I actually feel a lot more um, awake. So, where would you like to start today? Um, let's see. Well, I've been feeling kind of disconnected, um... I don't know if it's a part we work with or a new part, um, but yeah, I, there's, I'm just trying to talk it out. Um, yeah. it's like, yeah, I'm struggling with connecting and, you know, let me just think before I try and um, speak. Uh, yeah, I've been able to do some more of the self care. I've been able to journal a little more, um, but it still feels like moment to moment that I'm kind of disconnected. Yeah. And uh, so disconnected, this is a, this is an inner disconnection you're talking about. Yeah. And hmm, I mean, I guess uh, my general question is what is that like? What is just disconnected feel like or how do you how do you know you're disconnected feeling yeah. what's it like um let me try to put words to it uh maybe like i'm stuck in my head um and thinking about I just thinking a lot, I guess, and, and thinking about things that I should be getting done or could be getting done, um, or numbing out with watching TV. Mm -hmm. Um, I guess not, not present in my body. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you were saying it's like moment to moment. So is there, uh, like how much is that like, 
or how much are you feeling connected or present in your body in a day, for example? Uh, I guess it's rare. Um, you know, I'm st- I, I'll start to check in and then, you know, pre- like within seconds, I'm, my mind kind of takes over and, um, and then I'll, I'll, go, I'll redirect. Sometimes I'll redirect like, I don't know, five or 10 times to try to come back, but it just, I can't uh, seem to stay with that checking in, you know. Um, my mind just wants to remind me of any anything. Um, yeah. I'll even start thinking about, you know, other people's problems. And then, <laughs> and then I'll go, why sure. am I trying to solve their problems in my, you know? Yeah. Well, well sounds, sounds pretty normal to me. I mean, I mean, yeah. I'm, I mean, I don't know your experience, but I don't know. That's, I think I think we're all like that, right? It's just mind wanders and and it goes to problems and I know that's not really a IFS response, but me too. Yeah. Well, no, it's good to know. I'm not alone in that. And sometimes I wonder how much how much it is a part that is, um, you know, judging that, like, I should be this way, I should be that way. Yeah. Um, which it can also be like a never ending cycle of like, well, am I doing IFS? Am I supposed to, what, what, what is, what is the goal? What is, uh, what is mindfulness or self energy and how much of it is am I aiming for all of that? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, just thoughts I have too. Um, so you were saying that your journaling and checking in in general is improving though, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's great. Yeah. There was a period where I couldn't seem to do it at all. So, yeah. That's huge. Improving, yeah. Especially if you're able to just keep keep improving and and something you can control. That's awesome. Yeah. There's still, you know, there's still other things. Like, I like to stretch every day and not you know, I'll, I'll have hours to spend watching TV, but then I'll go, Oh, I can't spend 10 minutes stretching. I'm too tired. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Yep. All right. Well, trying to think how to put that into some parts language. If it's, um, you know, if it's a different part, like, like, let's say it's a different part each time that it, that you're being taken away and, and thinking about something else. It could be 10 different parts or, um, or is it one? I mean, do you yeah. have any sense about that? And, and another question is, you know, again, kind of zooming out and looking at the meta, like, would you want to investigate a part that that is has judgment around all of that? I don't know if any yeah. of that makes sense, but yeah, um, I don't know how many parts, but it does. You know, I don't know if it would be called like a dissociative mm-hmm. part or distracting part. Um, Yeah, and I definitely, I feel judgment. Um, 
And then I kind of get a little sad, like, oh, I'm, I'm disconnected from myself. Um, and then I kind of want to disconnect more because I, uh, cause I get sad. Um, yeah. And I guess that could kind of spiral. Yeah. And I want to like use weed to feel more connected. Mm -hmm. Well, in talking about all of this, has there been, has there been like a specific part that you feel like you can name and point to and say, you know, this is what's, this is what I want to investigate. Um, maybe the judging part first. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So what does that feel like when it comes up or where, where do you feel that? Okay. Mm, like in my face and in my, on the left side of my neck and shoulders. Mm. Like a tension, like a tightening. Yeah. And you already mentioned one of the messages it sends you. Is there any other message or strong sensation it's sending you? Um, yeah, you're worthless. <laughs> Can't do anything right. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Which I wasn't really even aware of, but. Yeah. Yeah. That's the message behind the message. Yeah. Mm hmm And how are you feeling towards that part now? Um, I'm feeling a little sad, but also curious. Mm -hmm. Well, if you feel like you have enough curiosity to to go forward then i would just uh yeah ask it ask this judgmental part what else it wants you to know maybe what it wants you to know about it okay Um, you know, he has like words of my dad, um, like you, you know, don't half-ass things, just do it right. It's not that hard. Um, but he, uh, he also seems to have an Italian accent, not, not Italian, like a Brooklyn Italian accent, like, mm -hmm. like that one, uh, a manager that we mm -hmm. worked with, um, that like, yeah, he even said like, bada bing, bada boom, <laughs> just do it right. <laughs> yeah. 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 I wonder if, cause I know that you've encountered managers with that, flavor before um i wonder if we have ever 
you know, a lot of times we're kind of finding a manager, finding a protector, and then finding an exile behind it. And I wonder how well we've ever uh, just worked with that, with that voice and mm. gone where we can go with that. Yeah. Um, okay, so the voice, this part has that message about just getting it right. Yeah. And does it make sense to you? Does that me- message make sense to you? Does it, does it have any resonance about where it's coming from? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Great. Yeah. Okay. So, and are you connecting with it? Are you able to show it that that makes sense to you? Um, let me try. Um, yeah, I guess I'm still, I'm feeling frustrated that at towards the part that, Mm -hmm. um, or, or there's a frustrated part that's saying, why are you using his words against us? You know? Right. Good question question so yeah maybe ask that part if it will uh soften back if it will relax and and maybe we can find out why we can learn more about this this critical part and uh maybe help it help it out Okay, yeah, that's fine. Great. And maybe that's a question you ask directly to this part of why it chooses <clears throat> that that tone or those words. saying like this is my job um I don't have time to like soften things Mm -hmm. um you know here it reminded me I've got a room full of babies so I, I, I guess it is that the same part or I don't know um I'm you know it's just trying to trying to keep things together yeah great and how's that landing for you when when you hear that from that part It makes sense. Yeah. Room full of babies. (laughs) 
does that do you feel like that makes sense to you to the that metaphor or what it's pointing to i mean i know it's come up before i'm wondering if kind of if you're seeing more about where that comes from the room full of babies mm-hmm I feel like it's my baby parts, you know, like yeah. the trauma that I had as a baby and, and, and maybe each time there was a trauma, there's like maybe each baby represents like a different trauma or something. Yeah. Yeah, that would make sense. Yeah. And this part was saying it's it's its job. So you could ask um, how it likes its job or how long it's been doing that job. Okay. said he's been doing it forever Mm -hmm. it's like I don't know 20 years 40 years Mm -hmm. he said but he's tired and he'd like to retire yeah yeah and and just see if you can maybe learn more about the fear behind it all like what is what's the concern what's the fear that this part has if he doesn't do his job. Okay. He's uh, afraid that they're going to die. Yeah. Yeah. And does his, does his fear make sense to you? Yeah. From his perspective, great. So yeah, just try to show him that makes sense to you and show him appreciation for his intention. Okay. Okay, he hears that. And how are you being with him now?
Um, I guess not that close, maybe like five feet away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty, pretty close for someone who was yelling at you. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You could try asking what he would prefer doing with his energy inside of you if he didn't have to do that job. Okay. just saying like he could retire and, and go sailing and read a book yeah relax And how old does he think that you are? It's 15. Okay, so you can go ahead and update him on your age. Just see how he reacts to that. Okay. <laughs> He's re relieved. He's like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> And what would he need from you to um, to feel safe or to feel okay with letting you work more with this with this room full of babies or any part that he's you know protecting or to feel safe with that? Okay. Um, he, he needs me to to take them and to take care of them. Mm -hmm. And how clear is that? Like, how clear is that to you? Like when he says that, are you saying, are you able to say, oh yeah, okay, I know exactly what that means or how I would do that or? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. I hope you're taking notes. <laughs> um, is there is there anything else he would need from you, just in general, uh, going forward? What what else does he need from you? He just needs to know that they're taken care of.
And is there any, like, are you able to, to show him or kind of just see what his um, perspective is on that, on the work you've already done, on the, the inner children that you've already helped? Does he have an opinion about that? Okay. Uh, he, yeah, he seems impressed. He says, considering where they came from, it's gotten a lot better. Yeah. Awesome. And how are you feeling like <clears throat> when you think about your own next steps? Are you, um, are you like in agreement with him? Like, yeah, that's, that's the, a good idea to be next steps or, or do you have, or are you more like, Hey, I've already done that. <laughs> <clears throat> Um, go ahead. Or anything, in, or anything, <laughs> anything in between. I'm not sure. I, I don't feel like there's a lot to like with a lot of the exile parts. Um, I feel like a lot of sadness mm -hmm. and, um, I don't feel that with this part. I, it doesn't feel like there's a lot of healing um, that needs to happen. Right, with this part. Yeah, with the babies. Mm. Um, and I know we like worked with them before. So I don't, I don't know if they're already feeling okay. taken care of or. Would you be interested in, in finding out and doing more of that work and just kind of figuring out, kind of verifying, uh, where they are and and why and why this manager part is still still concerned about them. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Well let's bookmark that if we can. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. Um so anything else with any other questions that you have for this part or other parts that came up that you want to address? Um, anything we missed? Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay. How are you feeling? Good. 
Okay. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for sharing all that. And thanks to yeah. that part. I can't wait to see how it develops. Yeah. Okay. Well, have a good day. You too. Talk to you soon. Okay. Bye. Bye. Do you want to help bring more self energy to the world? If you'd like to participate in calls or help out with this project in any way, I'd love to hear your ideas. Join the Discord server or contact me at james at liveifs.com. A huge thanks to our audio engineer, Ivan, for your care and diligence in editing the calls. To every caller for your courage in sharing some of your parts. And to anyone out there getting to know their internal system, keep going. Who knows, that might be the most selfless, helpful thing you can do for others, and you're the only one who can do it. If you'd like to see us reach the largest audience, we must please the almighty suggestion algorithms at iTunes and YouTube. And they don't care about the power of IFS. They're looking for likes and shares and comments, and the sooner the better. Follow the links in the show notes right here in your podcast player to make your wishes known. And now, a minute of meditation. Or if you prefer, pull over. You can do it in 60 seconds. Just click one of those links. They're right there and give us a like or a five-star rating. It would really help. If you think this project is helping people, you're helping people by sharing it. Thank you.